Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13 and this is your monthly tarot card forecast for November 2016. As always with the monthlies, there are five cards. Four of them are the four weeks of the month and the fifth card is the overview of the month. And let's get going here. Okay, well, the first week of the month we have the Emperor reversed, and this is really like putting yourself on a pedestal. It doesn't have to be you. So someone is going to be putting themselves on a, on a pedestal, maybe um, abusing their power a little bit, um, or like something's being shoved down your throat, that kind of like, that kind of like, I'm better than you are, or I'm in charge, and so you're gonna do it my way, or my way is the right way, or like, this is the only way it can be done, <laughs> like that kind of feeling. Um, because it's an overview and not one of the weeklies, it's a monthly, it can be in any area. So tune into the monthly, or I'm sorry, tune into the weekly, and we'll see, um, you know, this first week of November, kind of where this might be showing up or get a better idea of where this might be showing up. But as for right now, it seems like the main theme for the first week of November is that there's going to be some sort of like, tyrannical behavior. <laughs> like, someone in your sphere or maybe on the media or maybe that you are hearing about through another person is going to be that like holier than thou I'm super important I'm better than you are you know I'm God and we all need to do what I say kind of personality Ugh, right we don't want to deal with that who wants to deal with that just <laughs> keep your eyes open someone's gonna be feeling that way Make sure it's not you. Don't be that guy. We don't like that guy, so don't be that guy yourself. <laughs> Just keep your eyes open for that going on this week. The second week of November, we have the Six of Swords, and this is reversed also. And you may feel like you're stuck, like you are not moving forward on something that you want to be, be seeing progress whether it's, you know, a relationship thing or a work thing or, you know, like a home improvement project that just came to mind for someone. So probably someone out there's probably got that going on. You might feel like it's never going to end, you know, like you're just kind of like sitting in it. Like something is not proceeding for whatever reason. It could be that if it's a home improvement project, it could be that like you ran out of funds and now you got to wait like you know, a week or two till next payday when you can buy more lighting fixtures or, you know, whatever, like, something like that. Like, all right, we just need to, I want to keep working on it, but for some reason I can't. Like, that's this energy. You're feeling stuck about something. You want to move forward, but you can't move forward. Um, and sometimes you just need to sit in things for a while. It gives you a chance to practice patience <laughs> or um, to kind of just appreciate where you are now, gives you a chance to evaluate situations, think about how you want to proceed, are you proceeding in the best way, you know, things like that. So sometimes sitting in something isn't as bad as we want to think it is because we always, you know, we want to be moving, we want to be proceeding, we want to go, go, go. And sometimes you just need to like sit in something and reflect on it and let it, let it be what it is. So that's the second week. Third week of November, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is reversed as well. <laughs> and this is like, maybe you're having a premature celebration. You're super excited about something that hasn't come to fruition yet. Um, maybe you feel like a situation is over, but it's not quite over. Or if it is over, you might have to come back and revisit it later. Um, so it could be that, like, you've got this home improvement project, and then I'm just going to stick with this as a theme. So you've got this home improvement project, and you have to sit in it. But then, like, third week, it's like, okay, finally, payday's here, and now we can, you know, finish up that sheetrock 
in that room and it's done. Like that's the last thing that needed to be done and it's done. Um, so you're super excited that that's the last thing that needs to be done and you're, you're ready and you're mm, but like then you find out that maybe there was more to do. Like we thought that was the last thing but oh yeah like now that the sheet rocks up we have to paint it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like something like that. Like you're super excited and you're celebrating the completion of something that maybe isn't quite complete or receipt of something that isn't necessarily guaranteed to come to you. So um, watch where you're getting overly excited. I mean, we want to be excited about things, right? But watch where you are putting too much stock in um, finishing something or a completion that just might not be there yet. The fourth week, we have the chariot upright. Yay! So this is like, this is that completion. This is like, ultimately, you're going to be victorious. Ultimately, you're going to get what you want. I mean, by the end of November, that room will be done. <laughs> I know that's a very specific example, but that's what's coming to me, and that's what we're going to go with. So, you know, it may seem like it's kind of a rough month or like there's lots of things you need to deal with going on this month but by the fourth week it's gonna be it's gonna be done so it's going to be like worth all those up and downs all that roller coaster the feeling stuck you know just kind of keep this in mind because if you know the whole reading the month because if you know that like the second week you're gonna be feeling like you can't do anything then don't stress yourself out trying to do something when you know like hey the energy of this week is like that this is just how it's gonna be so I'm gonna let it go and then the third week when you're like hey maybe I shouldn't get too excited about something being done when I know I'm gonna have to revisit it then you can be conscious of it and and not have it be a roller coaster you know forewarned is forearmed <laughs> so I mean when you know it's gonna turn out in your best interest you can avoid yourself some stress or heartache or whatever by not going through the ups and downs, you know, kind of keep in mind what's going to happen this month, come back and revisit this video, rewatch it if you need to as many times as you need to, just if, if it's going to help you to keep in mind that this is going to be the energy, if that's going to make this easier, not that it's going to, I mean, it's going to come regardless, but <laughs> if it's going to make these easier, I guess is a better way to say it. In our overview, we have the Ace of Swords reversed, and this is about feeling powerless, encountering delays, and feeling stuck. That's going to be, that's an overview of the month. That's going to be the energy of the month. You're going to want to move forward. You're going to feel like you need to get things done, um, but you can't, or you, something is done and it isn't. Um, this first week, I think this first week might need to be, it kind of seems, I mean, all the weeks are obviously connected, right? But this first week kind of feels to me like it's not like an anomaly, but that the second and third and fourth week are really connected to each other, and this is just like something you're going to need to tolerate. Like someone's just going to be snarky, someone's just going to be super ego on a pedestal, kind of making your life hard, maybe for no reason, <laughs> and it's just something you're going to have to tolerate, um, and it might be that that's what you feel like you're stuck in, you know, everyone's got a different situation, but, you know, if you're, if you've got, like, a boss that's kind of hard on you, and you feel like you can't leave your job, you're stuck in your job, but then you get an interview, and you're like, oh, I'm super excited, I'm going to be leaving my job, but then you don't actually get that job, you know, pre premature celebrations, but then either this guy chills out, or you get another job, or, you know, somehow the situation works itself out. So there's like another way, not house repair way, is <laughs> another example of how this could be working out and they could all be tying together, but this doesn't necessarily have to be what you're stuck in. So just keep that in mind. Ultimately, it's going to be kind of a whole month of delays. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be here too, and I'm 
I've got an Aries moon, so I'm super impatient. So this is not going to be pleasant for me either. <laughs> so yeah, this is what we've got going on. Overview, we're going to feel like we want to plow forward and we just can't yet. So this is what we've got. Sorry guys, it's going to be rough. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I will pull a card every day, reading the energy of the day. Also check out my weeklies. It's going to elaborate on all this and help you figure out how this is going to come across for you specifically. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.